Hi, and welcome to the inside story of the Vodafone Warriors. I'm Monty Beatham, and tonight on Vodafone One Tribe TV, in our Mate vs Mate challenge, Jesse Royal and Russell Packer battle it out on the barbecue. Thanks, Ross. Oh, medium rare, Jess. Yeah, I think you put it on a bit too early there, mate. Don't worry, I still like it running around, but it's all right. <laughs> Prankster halfback Nathan Fien is up to his old tricks. I took all everything! And the little general, Stacey Jones, is back for the Vodafone Warriors for the first time in three and a half years. We catch up before Stacey's comeback match and find out a few little secrets about the Subway King. A lot of people say it's, it's like riding a bike, you know, once you learn, you never forget. And Pricey finds out about the tattoo culture within the club. None of your kids' names or anything like that? You have? Names, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm his stomach. You right. seen them this year, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't looking at your stomach. Oh. <laughs> G'day, it's Michael Luck here from the Vodafone Warriors. Now, I know you usually expect Steve Price in this segment, but I just got a text from him. He says, Lucky, I got hit in the throat yesterday and I'm not going to make it back in time to film the segment. If you do it, I'll give you a month of my pay. What can I say? I love money. So here it is. Price's weekly wrap by Lucky. It's got a good ring to it. It's been a pretty full-on week around here after the Eels game. Even though we won, we still train pretty hard during the week, and then the boys are off to Manly on Saturday to play the defending premiers. Last year, Manly beat us four times in four attempts, including the biggest defeat in our club's history. But on Sunday, the boys got revenge. The game was awesome. We fought back twice from big deficits, and the result could have went either way right up until full time. I thought all our guys played really well. Our captain, Pricey, was great as usual, going forward at every opportunity, and he was supported pretty well by all the young guys around him. Brent Tate scored a few tries, which I know he'll be happy about. I thought Wade McKinnon was outstanding at the back. And who could forget the little general? The game was well and truly in the balance when Stacey came onto the field, but he grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck with a few outstanding plays and almost won the match alone. We caught up with him late last week to see how he was feeling before his return. Stacey Jones, the Vodafone Warriors most capped player, is back. Three and a half years since he stepped onto the paddock in the Vodafone Warriors jersey, playing a blinder in his comeback match versus the Sea Eagles. You know, to be able to play with such a, you know, a Kiwi icon over here, it's pretty exciting for an Aussie guy like me. For Stacey to come back and get a run with him was pretty, yeah, pretty special. He was one of my heroes when I was younger, and, um, mate, it's just a buzz to think that I'm, I'm training amongst them. You know, sort of to myself, it's a little bit of a dream come true. You know what I mean? It's always a, always a privilege to play with such a, such a great person and a um, great rugby league player like Stacey. It's not just the players welcoming the little general back with open arms. Well, I think Stacey Jones just brings so much to the club. It's, it's a godsend that he should be enthused to come back. And for that, you've got to say thanks very much to Ivan Cleary. But I think, you know, the public, they really want him being back. The general's back. Welcome home, Stacey. Welcome home, Stacey. Oh, it's bloody home, good Stacey. to see you back, Dead straight. I read in the paper this morning that he's back. He is back. After years of not playing. And he's going to make the difference. The little general. I love him to pieces. Oh, he's just awesome. And he's, he's good looking too. <laughs> <laughs> is he good looking? He's kind of sexy. I'm pleased to see he's back. I'm... Um, he should never have left. It seems Stacey is even providing inspiration for the old boys club. It's good to see Stacey um, out there again. Um, gives a bit of hope for myself, really. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Stacey's back. He's looking all right. You know, I think he should have given it up, though. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. <laughs> would you say that to his face? <laughs> I would. <laughs> no jokes. It's, it's awesome to have Stacey back. I really think that that's going to be a catalyst for the season. Despite holding most of the club's records, including highest try score, point score, and most capped player, it seems he has unfinished business. When I was deciding about whether I was going to do it or not, um, you know, I had a lot of meetings with, with obviously Ivan Clary and, and the trainer Craig Walker, and I've sort of got to have my trust in, in these guys that that they uh, that I listen to them um, of how I go about my training. You know, a real bonus for our club to have Stacey here. Um, good man to have around, plenty of experience and. Um, Great for the younger guys too to, to learn from. 
you know, the game's changed a little bit from when I last played, especially here in the NRL. I've had, had sort of a year to 18 months off from playing, but sort of three years away from, from playing in the NRL. So a lot of people say it's, it's like riding a bike, you know, once you learn, you never forget. You know, I can't wait to get out on the field. And, and look, I've always been nervous before every game. I think if you're not nervous before all games, you're sort of maybe probably a bit too relaxed about things. I've got a guy named Stacey Jones here with me. He's been away for a couple of years, so we'll try and get to know him a little bit better again. Stacey, got a couple of questions. Wendy's or Burger King? Subway. KFC or McDonald's? Subway. Georgie Pie or Dunkin' Donuts? Subway. <laughs> Wife's cooking or mum's cooking? Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Anderson or Ivan Cleary? Ivan Cleary. <laughs> uh, Steve Price or Ruben Wiki? Oh, you know you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got to know him a little bit better. He's been away for a couple of years. He hasn't changed much. Five years. Five years. <laughs> The little general's been given a second nickname by his teammates, Subway Stacy. Let's find out why. Hey bro, how's it going? Stacy Jones here, welcome to my Subway. Come with me, we'll go check it out. This is where uh, all the hard yards are done and there, you can see there's plenty of rubbish out the back there that um, I'm probably going to have to do later on. Here's the, uh, the main boss, um, making my lunch. <laughs> My wife's the boss here, I'm just the... I sweep the floors for, is, a, is a big job for me and, and take the rubbish out. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I'll show you how I make my favourite sub. Very important part of the job, this. Now we've got to throw in some gloves. Um, every time we touch uh, any food, we've always got to put our gloves on. It takes me forever to put these bloody put things on. First we grab the bread, and it's always a foot long. Grab a couple of chicken fillets, put these in the microwave, the chicken fillets. Throw in a bit of cheese. Sometimes I'd, I'd toast it, but today I'm gonna have it fresh. As you can see, the boss is laughing at how I make my sandwiches. Well, she's the boss here, and I'm the boss at home. <laughs> Try to be. So yeah, usually uh, on here I'd, I'd put barbecue, barbecue and mayonnaise on, on this, so it usually goes down pretty good. Mayonnaise goes good together with the chicken fillet and finish it off with salt and pepper. This is a job I find very hard. See, it's all falling out. My wife's here most of the time. I guess the, you know, like obviously today's a day off for me and I'm in here trying my, trying my bit, even though I probably slow things up. Uh, what sauce you on on that, mate? 